Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Sahana Devakumar. I'm a doctor from India and I'm on my US Emily journey. I got 256 in my step one and I 263 in my step two. If you want to see exactly what I did, my study plan, my resources, I'm going to link everything down in the description box below and you can go to that video. Today's video is part two of the USMLE resources series. Uh, I covered UWorld and AMBOSS in the first part. I'm going to link that video also down below. And today we're going to talk about another really, really popular resource that students use is Lecturio. And this is going to be a very special video for me because this is the first time I am going to receive a sponsorship. Uh, so I have a sponsorship from Lecturio and this video is sponsored by them. I'm really happy because it's such a reputed brand and I really did use their resources a lot when preparing for my exams. Lecturio is one of the most affordable and comprehensive resources for USMLE. At only around 5500 for three month plan, it covers not only a QBank or video resource, but it has a QBank, a video resource and a library that you all get in that one package. Uh, though another really great point about Lecturio is you can download all of their slides and use it not only for USMLE, but also for your medical school. I'm going to tell you how to use Lecturio, what are the different resources and features in Lecturio that you should be using. And finally, I'm going to tell you about how much it costs and a new special offer that they're releasing. So let's get to the video. So I'm going to use one topic and see and, and run you through the software and let you know how that one topic can be learned in Lecturio. So let's take abdominal anatomy and see how you can learn the various resources available to learn abdominal anatomy in the platform. So this is the first page of Lecturio, the home page, where you can see the videos, concept pages and cue banks as soon as you open it. So when you go to videos, you can see there's a different category of videos for different tests. So I'm going to pick USMLE step one and it will show all the relevant videos for step one. Now we go to anatomy and let's learn about abdominal anatomy just to show you how it is structured. The best part about anatomy lectures and other lectures is that they always have a 3D model, as you can see on the side, along with every single video. So as you learn the anatomy, you're also visualizing it in your brain simultaneously. This really helps drive in anatomy into your brain and supplemented by really simple and to the point videos, it gets the point across and makes sure it sticks very, very well. So once you're done with the video, if you want to refresh a certain topic, you can go to something called concept pages or, some, or something called library. This is the same as a text version of what is there in the video, but organized as per every organ or every subtopic. So let's see how it looks when you go into a certain subtopic like small intestine. Here you will see a completely organized and thorough information of small intestine where you can come back and refer any points that you have a doubt in. My personal preference is the clinical relevance section. It's an amazing way to go through all the clinically relevant points in every subtopic. Like in small intestine, you can see that there's intestinal malrotation, intersusception, Meckel's diverticulum, which is very important because this is what you're going to be tested on. Once you're done learning a topic, you can start revising the topic and learning the questions by taking a test which is also available right after a video or right after a concept page. So now when you're taking a test about small intestine, you can see the layout is exactly the same as the NBME or the test day layout. This really helps familiarize you with the test day layout and makes you feel comfortable when you go take the actual test. Uh, let's answer this question. Where an actively ble bleeding ulcer is visualized on the posterior medial wall of the duodenal bulb, which artery is bleeding? Uh, the right answer for this is gastroduodenal artery. Uh, let's see what the explanation and the references show. Now you can see that the answer is really well explained with adequate diagrams uh, where you can exactly see the anatomy of the pancreas and which artery is bleeding. Uh, my personal favorite is the fact that they add references to first aid pages, making it really easy for you to do the questions and revise first aid at the same time. Uh, 
Uh, another good point about the Lecturio Q Bank is that you can go and refer the videos which are pertinent to the same topic at the same time. So in case you got this question wrong, you want to revise the topic, you can go to the related video section and watch, re-watch the videos to relearn the concept. Another interesting thing about the Lecturio Q Bank is that they have videos not only for USMLE, but also NEAT UG and even MBBS. Uh, as you can see, you can go to the MBBS section right in the video section and you will find all their videos organized as per the MBBS curriculum, making it really easy for you to navigate through the videos. Uh, they even have a community medicine section, which is wonderful because I struggled throughout MBBS to learn community medicine because of the volume and it was so dry. But this really helps in driving through concepts and making them memorable and fun. Uh, the Lecturio QBank and the Lecturio software doesn't only help you with studying for these exams but also planning for them. So when you go to the learning path section, you can choose what your aim and what your goal for learning is for the week or for the month and it will create a study plan for you. So I'm going to select pediatrics and I'm going to give the goal as 31st October. And you can see the study plan which is being created for me here. So it says I need to study two hours and 23 minutes a day to finish all the videos and finish all the cue banks for me to finish pediatrics by this date. This is really helpful when you want to stay on track, especially in preparing for an exam in a time crunch. Um, at only 5,997 rupees for a three month plan, I think Lecturio comes as one of the cheapest resources available during a USMLE prep, which encompasses not only your videos, but also a queue bank. Uh, in my opinion, the best time to use Lecturio is when you're preparing for your USMLE step one or step two. Uh, the affordable rates combined with the comprehensive resources proves it to be one of the most useful resources for USMLE, especially now that step one is pass fail and you really want to save money and use it towards other things like your USCE or your rotations and some other experiences. I think this is a very, very cost effective way for preparing for step one, especially. And this can even help you in your MBBS. Suppose you want to start early and you want to start building these concepts early. Starting them even in MBBS could be a really big boost for your USMLE prep. Uh, this is a really exciting announcement. Lecturio is running a 50% off sale, part of their Halloween sale. You get 50% off on all medical plans. This is a wonderful opportunity for all us broke medical students. And this is you should really make use of this discount when it's available. So thank you so much for watching. You know the drill, like, share and subscribe. Uh, I have a lot of other USMLE content available on my channel, including step one, step two prep. Uh, I'll be releasing videos soon about USMLE cost, USCE. So stay tuned, hit the bell icon so you get notifications as soon as I upload a video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Dr. Deva where I update you guys on my match journey and you guys can all be in anxiety with me together. Uh, so that's it. Take care. Bye. Keep studying and I'll see you next time.